everyone and uh, I'm going to Nagano with my host family this weekend. I'm really looking forward to it. It's really early and I'm really tired but it's gonna be a blast. So say goodbye to this house for now and let's go to Nagano. everyone a few weeks ago my host family told me we were going on a camping trip to Nagano Nagano is a province of Japan famous for its apples and soba noodles it has gorgeous nature scenes and beautiful landscapes we are going to stay at a camp known as Mukusato the trip was rather long about seven hours if I remember correctly we left around seven in the morning and thus we didn't have enough time to eat breakfast so we stopped by several uh, stops on the side of the road. At the first stop I got a chocolate milk with strawberry flavor and whipped cream, which was amazing. Uh, and the best part was uh, the machine. You could actually see how they were making the drink inside of the machine and it came out piping hot. That is really cool. <laughs> Halfway through our journey, we had to go and do some grocery shopping. We went to a huge Japanese mall, of course, and it was really fun to see all those different Japanese products. It was especially very cool to see weird chips flavors like sakura and dumpling, or nikoma flavor. Because it was almost Halloween, the store had a lot of Halloween items on sale. At the store, you could get free ice cubes, after you paid, of course, but that was really handy to keep everything cold in the cool box that we brought for camp. But because of all the stops and the grocery shopping, we got uh, at camp quite late. I did get to meet the owners and they were really nice old ladies. They lived there together in a small uh, traditional Japanese house and they lived on top of a hill. And on the downside, you just had to go down and bum, that's the camp already. There were quite a lot of people there too. We were the only ones that were actually staying in a hut. Because um, there was only one. So... <laughs> My host family had already been to that exact same spot where we would went uh, a few times. So they already knew the way around. Uh, we were staying in a small lodge. It was one room and one entrance hall. Well, if you could call it an entrance hall. The kitchen table and sink were outside. The room was quite big, but unfortunately it didn't have a private toilet. You had to share the toilet with everyone else. So that was quite a bummer, but it's fine. It was just a few seconds away. At night we ate shabu shabu, and that was the best shabu shabu I've ever had. Shabu Shabu is a Chinese dish by origin where you put thinly sliced meat and vegetables into hot water or a broth and thus cooking it. Cooking the meat in the broth is the best in my opinion since the meat absorbs all the flavor of the broth. Usually the meat is dipped in a dipping sauce after you're done. My favorite ones are the sesame based ones because I love sesame. It's named uh, Shabu Shabu because of the sound the meat and the veggies make when it's boiled in a pot. The morning after, me, my host mother and my host brother Jose went to a sports festival at the local school. A sports festival or Undokai is a Japanese tradition where students and onlookers can play games and do sports with the goal of winning prizes and having fun. It's also to educate uh, younger children on how to exercise. The prizes that they were handing out to the people who win are, were actually more handy than really fun for the children. Uh, and I managed to win quite a few games myself. I won some clothing hangers, heat packs for winter and a salad bowl. My favorite game by far was the balloon popping game, where you had to pop a balloon by using only your hands. It was tied to your waist and you had to pop it by sitting down. Uh, unfortunately. Um, mine went up and I was unable to pop it, so I just let myself fall on the floor quite hard. This caused f quite a few laughs by onlookers, but it was really fun. I got to meet a lot of uh, very nice people that day. My host brother also decided to go run a marathon. 
even though he hated running. Uh, he finished last, but he tried so hard and he actually made it and finished uh, running to the uh, finish line. I was so proud of him. The lunch was delicious too. The owners of the camping spot had given us onigiri and fried chicken, which tasted amazing. I even made a Japanese friend that day. It was really fun to see uh, how surprised people were when a blonde a uh, 1 meter and 75 centimeter Dutch girl showed up to a Forts festival in a remote village. Yeah, you win! Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. That evening, me and my host mom made tacos for everyone. Cooking with your host father, mother or both is a really fun way to bond together since you're sharing an activity together and you have to work together to finish something. The next day we already had to go home. A long journey awaited us and we left quite early. On the way back, we went to some of Jose's friends that lived quite uh, close to our camping spot. Uh, they lived quite isolated from everyone else. They built their house themselves and they made their own vegetables and other foods. Even the children, who can't have been older than 14, built their own tiny houses and rooms outside of the house. And they looked incredibly stable and professional. The parents both had master's degrees, but instead of working uh, all their lives, they chose to live free, surrounded by just all they need, nature and the animals and people that they love. They were very welcoming and open-hearted, and if I could, I would definitely like to see them again. After that, we went to the onsen, and that was actually my first onsen experience. It was a lot less awkward than I thought it would be. It felt so great being in the hot mineral water, it was surprised actually, I was really surprised to see how short we were actually in the onsen. It can't have been more than 50 minutes. It was really uh, a unique experience. This was an onsen where you didn't get a yukata uh, when you came in. You did have to take your shoes off. And um, when you went to the onsen directly, you actually had to take your clothes off directly, which that, that I have to admit was kind of awkward. But it is a nice icebreaker if you ever need one. <laughs> we had lunch there too and it was delicious. I had a tonkatsu dish. Well, my host father and my host mother had curry and Jose went with pasta. It was really filling and actually not that expensive. We also had some uh, special Nagano apples. They were so tasty. They were, they were the sweetest apples I've ever had. I definitely recommend them, even if they're a bit expensive. On the way back, we unfortunately got stuck in traffic. I got home really late, but I had school in the morning, so <laughs> that was quite a great mix. But I really recommend doing this if you can with your host family it really brings each other everyone together and you really get to know them and their family dynamics if you're going on such a trip it's also a really great way to get closer to your host brother or sister if you have one i myself am staying in a host family without any other um, international students so just myself so it's really important that i get along with my host family and i really enjoy doing so so if you have the chance, definitely do so. And that was a small summary of my camping trip with my host family. It was super fun and i definitely like to go to Nagano again. The nature is so beautiful, especially since I come from a country where there are uh, very few mountains or high places. So seeing a place just surrounded in mountains with 
flowing water was the best thing ever. It might have been one of, yeah, it might have been the most beautiful place I've ever been to. If you want to go to the camping place that I went to, it's really pretty. Um, I left a link in uh, the description if you want to go. Do beware uh, if you don't like spiders like I do, because I went to shower quite late at night and um, I turned the lights on and there was a huge spider in the shower with me all the time. That was quite an uncomfortable uh, position I was in. But <laughs> I survived. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope it was helpful in any way. I don't know how, but I hope so. And I hope to see you guys next time in the next video. Bye guys! <laughs>